Hello, thanks for tuning in today. Now, this video today is a bit of a departure from my usual more scripted vids because I just wanted to give you an update on what I've been up to this week. I'm sat right now on top of my garage roof, as you can see here, and if you've ever tried to sit up here, it's not the most comfortable place in the world, so I probably won't stay up here for too long. But what am I doing up here? Well, you might have seen my video recently where I installed an EV charge point with all the 65 meters of cabling that sort of went on with all of that. Now this did hit the bank balance quite a lot, but I did think at the time, with energy prices going up the way they are at the moment, I'd be crazy not to be thinking about solar panels to charge the car and also to lessen our electricity bills. So I turned my mind to this garage roof, which has been disintegrating for a number of years now. The north face of the roof down here was in a particularly bad state. And admittedly, this is one of those jobs I probably wouldn't have got, got round to doing for another few years, but I'm quite glad I have because stripping off the tiles, about 90% of which had completely spool, spooled or basically delaminated. There's a lot of damp underneath, wood lice everywhere. Now wood lice aren't a problem in themselves, but what they do is they thrive in damp conditions and you don't really want that for a roof. A few other things, I've got plans longer term to do something with this garage, maybe convert it for my son who's autistic. So I thought now would be a good time to bite the bullet and sort it out. Now the original plan was to replace the old spalling disintegrating roof tiles with new ones. Unfortunately, this plan went out the window because there's a six month lead time at the moment on new tiles. So I ended up tracking down a company in Derbyshire that specializes in reclaimed roof tiles. I'll post a link in the description below the vid. And I bought just over 4,000 tiles at the same sort of price as you'd have to pay for new ones, which is a bit galling, particularly given there's no guarantee how long the new tiles will last. Now I'm lucky this roof level is only a single story off the ground, but I still needed to put some sort of a tower situation together to give me proper access while I was stripping off all the tiles. And we bought this tower several years ago for our soft furnishings business, which has turned out to be incredibly useful. Normally, obviously, you put these one on top of another, but I've got them side by side and it gives me a really good platform to walk across. And after running out of platforms, I improvised another with some old moisture resistant MDF I had lying around, which I treated with some surplus decking oil to make it weatherproof during the project. Now, you might have seen a couple of posts on Instagram this week where I was hopeful that having stripped off the eave tiles and a couple of tiles above that I could replace just a couple of the rotten battens at the bottom. The eave tile batten in particular was completely rotten and whilst a lot of the battens on this roof have got woodworm I didn't think it would be too much of a problem to work with what was already there. However I did a post on my YouTube community tab a few days ago uh, asking everyone whether they thought I should stick with this old bitumen based roof felt or replace it with a modern breathable membrane and the response was absolutely unanimous bar one or two people everyone said to me Charlie while you're doing this now is the time to replace everything because you're going to regret it in 10-15 years time if you don't do the job properly and if you do do the job properly you've got a roof that will see you out. And there's another point here, a lot of the rafters inside the garage have got wood, woodworm. Now this may or may not be due to sort of damp conditions, I don't think woodworm needs damp to thrive. Although it does have preference for wood that's been softened by exposure to damp. But my point is, if I can replace this bitumen based felt with a breathable membrane, then I've future proof this roof, I don't have to install any roof tile vents because by being breathable, the roof is ventilated anyway. And also I've damaged the felt in a number of places, taking off the tiles. As you can see here, there's a section that I accidentally stepped on. There's a few other sections where the stacked tiles slipped down and punctured the felt down at the eaves level. And generally looking from inside the garage, you can see a number of places where the felt's been compromised. But all of that said to me, now is a sensible time to replace the felt. And let's not forget after all these years, the felt has become quite brittle. But what product do you go for with so many on the market? My local roofing merchants recommend a product called Chromar 3. The product they had before was too thin and they said since changing this they've never had any comeback from the roofers that they supply it to. But in the end I followed a recommendation of Robin Clevert who used to be part of the skill builder team with Roger Bisbee and he said to me I should go with Tyvek which is one of the highest quality breathable membranes. It is more expensive than most of the rest at £95 per roll but it's got UV protection which might be handy if I don't manage to get the tiles on straight after 
refelting the roof. And for the sake of another 30 quid, it's actually two rolls I needed, 100 meters of this stuff. For the sake of another 30 quid a roll, I thought it'd be, make sense to invest in a really good quality membrane. However, the guy at Roofing Superstore was really helpful and said to me, actually, they have other products that he that reckons are just as good. Like the Novia Ultra Plus, which is 30 pounds cheaper and comes in a wider 1.5 meter roll. So if you're looking for new roofing membrane and budgets are a bit tight, you might consider other options like this. Now I haven't started ripping off these battens yet, but I suspect I'll damage a lot of them when I do. Certainly all of the 63 mil galvanized nails, the heads are ripping off when I'm trying to pull the battens off. I need 672 meters for this roof. So again, I've ordered 140 4.8 meter lengths of tantalized battening from my local roof supplier which is arriving tomorrow, along with the two rolls of Tyvek, hopefully. The other thing I did is hire a nail gun. I went to my local Harit Centre and hired this Pazlode gas-fired gun. I wanted on Robin's recommendation to go with 63mm galvanised heavy-duty strip nails, but unfortunately the hire centre didn't have 63mm, so I've got 75mm. Each box comes with a gas canister to power the gun. Finally, I ordered these Eve support trays. Now, the idea of these is they fit underneath the felt at Eve level, as you can see here, and as the name suggests, support the felt to stop it sort of pulling down, which I suppose is why we had that Eve batten so badly rotten. And the other point is that the tray, rather than the felt, goes into the gutter that way you won't get the felt rotting which i have to say it's remarkable how, how well preserved this felt is considering it was installed in the 1970s and was overlapping into the gutter the problem is though my bottom batten is going to be fixed here and if we take the felt away for a minute you can see that fixing that batten down tight is going to pull up the eave tray and render it ineffective so I think I'm going to have to revert to a damp proof course rather than using these EVE support trays and actually send them back. So that's the background and when everything ordered it was time last week to start stripping off the tiles. We've done about three quarters of the roof now. What was interesting is the tiles on this side of the roof were almost completely spalling. I've actually managed to salvage only a very small number and a lot of these are probably knackered as well. However, on the other side, on the, no on the south side of the roof, where the solar panels will one day be going, the situation is completely reversed. I would say about 75% of the tiles seem to be absolutely fine at the moment. And obviously, big mistake on my part here, I ordered all the tiles based on what I saw going on on this side of the roof, not imagining that they've been much better nick on the other side. So I'm going to end up with a lot of spare tiles at the end of this job, which I'll probably have to sell or maybe try and recycle, use for a sort of log store or something, which could be a good future video. On the north side of the roof, it was quite a lot of fun hurling all the tiles into the skip. The problem I've got on the other side is I haven't got a skip over there, so it became a two-man job and I managed to rope my wife in to help me with her removing the majority of the tiles and me ferrying them round the corner in a bucket and dumping them in the skip. It's going to be quite fiddly getting the new battens in place also because of this greenhouse. So hopefully by next weekend when I post my next update there'll be a lot more progress to show you including refelting, hopefully large areas of the roof and rebattening. So it'd be great if you could tune in then. In the meantime if you fancy joining my behind the scenes community I've got a great discord community chat forum which has been running for over a year now. You can access this by signing up as a member of my Patreon page which will also give you behind the scenes action each week as each project unfolds. I'll post a link to my Patreon page in the description below the video. It'd be great to have you on board and it helps to support me as I make these videos. That's it for now. I always mention the fact that if you're new to my channel it would mean so much to me to have you subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link here and don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you get notified of all my future uploads. See you next weekend!